Great Yarmouth is a medieval town built on a narrow sandbank. The North Sea is on the east side and the River Yare on the west side. In 1209 King John granted a charter declaring Yarmouth a free borough. The town had a thriving herring fishing industry and grew larger based on three main streets which ran north to south with lanes or rows running between them in an east to west direction. In 1285 the building of the town wall meant that the town up until the 18th century was confined within it. Great Yarmouth's coat of arms, three herrings, was transformed after the Battle of Sluys in 1340, when a grateful King Edward III allowed the town to take in elements of his royal herald, the Three Lions. The town's motto in English is The King and Our Rights. Right, so where were you born then? Row 111. Where was that? Where did the uh, The row at Lee Dump, the key, it's part of the Rolls Education Committee. Yeah. So uh, what, what day were you born? Uh, 8th of October 1907. Uh, 8th of October 1907. Yeah. And uh, who were your parents? What were their names? Sarah Marlott. Yeah. And... Uh, Arthur. Were they, yes, uh, were they, uh, how long did they live for after you were born? Well, my father died, he died about two or three years after I was born, but my mother died when um, I had Barbara, and my mother was six months old. So you remember quite a lot of your... Um, my mother, yes, because yeah, she used to work at the Northgate Hospital. And that a lot of your father? No. So, well, uh, how old were you in, in the First World War? 1914, I Brandishes. You, were, you went to Brandishes from school. What did you have to do there? Uh, domestic. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I used to go in there. Yeah. Wasn't it? I used to run there. So the whole of Yarmouth was rows, was it? Yes, all the And uh, were the rows, they were all one direction, weren't they? From the east of the town to the west, all yeah. in one direction. Yeah. Um, were they all sort of back to back? You know, where was it? Did everyone just have a front door? Or did some people have back doors and things like that? Um, right. We used to have just the back door, up a long yard. Yeah. But some of them used to have front doors. So if you could you go in in one door and come out the other? No. No. Not was, my nannies, no. They used to have one front door, did they? Yeah. You said your nannies. We, yeah. Was, is that who you lived with? Yes. And that well, which row was that? Well, well, well one twenty-five. And that was the one. After yeah. I finished row on the eleven, because yeah. my aunt was moved from that row on the eleven to the silk factory yard. Well, what, why did they move them? Because the yeah, husband worked on the railway. She, they got her a bigger, a bigger place because my aunt had 11 children, so oh, yeah, we couldn't yeah. live all there then. So uh, all your family lived in those, did they? Yes. And yes. All, all, all your family lived in Yarmouth, did Yes. They? And no one yes. moved away? No. Um, was there much bombing in Yarmouth in the First War? Yes, uh, up in King Street, Dr. Shaw's house all got it and done. Um, Were many of the roads damaged in the First World War? No, no, no. Were the roads very wide? Very wide, and there were lovely houses in them. They were all lovely and clean, were they? Yes, lovely, lovely roads, clean and people, everything. Some people think that the roads were sort of squalid. No, the roads were ever so clean, ever so clean, and most people lived all in the roads too. So uh, you didn't More have... friendly then yeah. than they are now. You didn't have any uh, sort of back gardens or front gardens, did you? No. No, they were all sort of straightforward, right? Yeah. They just houses. And what was there much employment about then? Not a lot. 
Well, uh, well, um, when you got married to Grandad, where did you live then? Row three. You went in row three, and where's that? Near in um, Northgate Street. Northgate Street, yeah. Yeah, next to row two, yeah. Road, yes. Yeah. And um, as you come down that road, that used to take us right on to Larpham Image Corner. Corner, yeah. right on the quay. So you moved into that house. Yeah. Um, who were your neighbours? What were your neighbours like? Were they? Oh, yeah, they, she was pretty good, so yeah. next door, the two of them. Yeah. Um, what happened during the Second World War about the air raid shelters? We used to, I used to come out of the house, go through a passage, yeah. and go into row two, yeah. where the air raid shelter was. There wasn't enough room to build air raid shelters, was there? Not in row three. Because all, all the houses were all sort of back to back, weren't yeah. they? Like close. And that was a big. Like a big square building. Yeah. Where grand, where your great granny lived and used to have the air raid shelter there. So everyone. She had a back way yeah. and a front way. Yeah. So some of the rows didn't have backs and front, did yeah. they? And the whole. Look, did everyone sort of live in a row? Was there, or were there some separate houses? No, oh, yeah. there was a lot of houses in them rows. There were, were they? Yes. All sort of fairly close. Oh. How many rooms did they used to have in the rows? Say you were now, you're now coming in your front door in the row. What, down in row three? Yeah, you were in row three. Well, you know. Or where I, when I was married? Yeah, when you first got married. Uh, one room downstairs, one big bedroom and an attic. Yeah. So they were all three storey, were they? Yeah. Well, how, about, how wide would you say the rows used to be? Were they very wide? Row three was. Yeah. But row two, that weren't too bad, row two, because the fish shops at yeah. the park. Do you road. remember the little, the small row, the one that was in that book? Kitty Witch's row in yeah. King Street. Yes, you. So it was as narrow as that. But I only went down there once, and there was one or two people who lived down there. Yeah. But that was clean. Yeah. That they was were all clean, clean yeah. yes. So would, they all had sort of proper toilets to then, everything was clean and that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So where was your toilet in the house? Was it outside? Yes, and that compared with, you know, Aunt Ethel Albans, we used to um, use the same one. So you we used to open a little door in our living room yeah. and go into uh, like a big yard. Yeah. But we couldn't get out unless we went out of our front door into the road. So you, the, there was a yard in yeah. your back? Yeah, well, a little yard, big yard, an old yard, where they had a cupboard and that was haunted. Yeah. And I used to be frightened when I used to sit in the toilet. It was a very small toilet. Yeah. So well, was it sort of, did it used to flush? Oh, yes. Yeah, all flushed. Yeah, it all flushed, yes. Well, you, you said a long while ago that the house used to be haunted that you lived yes, in. Yes, yes. Is it bombed now, was it? Just yes, we got before? bombed. That's why I like, come out when we, uh, so, you know, in the what, what do you remember the, the war? What, I mean, what started the Second World War? What did you know of them? What really sort of, what was the first thing that happened in Yarmouth that showed signs of war? Well, that was bombing and doing yeah. and these, what do you call them, planes? Yeah. And, uh, because I was carrying with Barbara, and uh, I was, when I had them, they, oh, I was frightened. Yeah. Because I got under the bed, because I had my bed downstairs, yeah. and I went, got under the bed, and the nurse came to see if I was all right, and Nanny, your great Nanny Robson came through, and then she came through the passage from hers to mine, yeah. she was carrying the big patties, and they all got blacks and everything yeah. all over, they were, we couldn't eat them. Yeah. So, um, you were married before the Second World War, weren't you? Yeah. What did Brandon do when you married him? He was on the, he was on the labour at the time. Yeah, he was unemployed, wasn't yes, he? Yes, and then, because I had Noel, yeah. 1938, and Granddad was called up 1939. That was for the war then, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, well, um, you, well, you said the house was bombed. When was it actually bombed? When the parish church caught her. You, when they, and what happened? You yeah. were, where were you when it was actually bombed? Were you in the air raid shelter? Yes. Yeah, and yeah. you remember it being bombed. Yes. And what did you do after it had been bombed? Well, yeah. You said you were walking through the streets. Yes, you, walking from uh, St Nicholas Church to Burton's. Yeah. When uh, all the water and rain and everything, then we went in with an old little Billy Upton, what kept the shop on there. White horse plane that used to stand on a box. Do you remember yeah, that yeah. shop? Yeah. Well, they called us in their house to give us a cup of tea. Yeah. We had and a cup you, of tea. Do you remember the house right, your granddad, the your great granddad went down to see if everything was all right before yeah. we could go, because they, they were doing all the roads with water. Yeah. We were walking in water along. Yeah. After the 
those had been bombed. Yeah. Where did you go to after that? Well, we kept in there till they found their place in Willow Street. Yeah, there was number, what was that number? 20, 23 Willow Street. 23 Willow Street. And then you moved down here, didn't you? Yeah. 2920 Kill Road. So, as you say, walked around the marketplace, did any people used to live up near the marketplace? Oh, yes, all the people the, the, from the rows were, was in the area of Shelter Down Burton's. Were there any houses set out, like these houses are now? Oh, no. Everything was all in rows. You couldn't buy a house with nothing in the row. No, you couldn't buy a house. We never bought no houses, but they were nice houses. Yeah. I forget where my granny Who was used, Did you used to rent from the people? The people used to own them? Well, uh, you used to have landlords? Yes. Yes, we used to have landlords. Were they nice people? Who yes, used yes. So I guess they never used to, what's the name? All the people in the role all had different landlords. Yeah. And these, where did the people who owned the houses used no, to I live? No, I couldn't tell you where they used to live. I don't know where minute. We used to, have to take ours down to the Trade Association yeah. on the quay. Yeah. How where plumbers are. Oh, yeah. Well, Grey Fires uh, Cloisters. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you started out living in, what number of did you say again? Row 111. Yeah, when you were born. Born. Yeah. And then from there I went to row 125. Where was that? Where was that one? What they call the gun row near. It's a bit, you know, the Alton nearly St. Peter's Church. So, uh, I'm not quite with you, near St. Peter's Church. You know, you know where the vicarage was at St. Peter's? You know oh, where okay. St. St. Lancaster Road is? Yeah. And as you come up Lancaster Road and steady down the church, yeah. turn the other way, yeah. and it used to be the vicarage who used to live there, the oh, vicarage yeah. used to live yeah. all the clergymen. Yeah. Well, then a little further along, there used to be what they call the R Valley. Yeah. There used to be the Labour Club one side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you go straight down, and my row was right opposite. There was Jarvis's, the Sweet People Shop, yeah, and uh, sweet, Allen's, or Rodden's, the Bacon Shop. Yeah. Um, and then when my granny died and that, was that the row you were born, that one? No, 111. Where, where's, where's 111? Um, in Middlegate Street. Whereabouts can I tell you? I know the education committee was at the bottom of the, of the row. Yeah. Down there. So uh, I, I'll probably find that on the map later. Yeah, well, uh, on the, that ledge right on the quay, you can yeah. see all the ships. And then when my granny died, I we had to go to... Um, what do you call it? Row 139, but before I was married, I lived down row 105 in a bed sitting room with my mother. Yeah, because your granny died, did my you? My granny yeah. died, see, so my mother used to work at the north, but I had a bed sitting room and that had a big yard down row 105 row. Yeah. We used to go in the house and that was one story to, that used to be three stories. Yeah. Were there any houses set out like these houses are now? I was trying to find out if there were other houses in the town outside those in the rows. There were residential streets. These were built when the town grew outside of the town walls in Victorian times. The town continued to expand between the wars, particularly to the north of the town, when Newtown grew up. My poor nanny Clara had infinite patience with my clumsy interviewing technique. This is a picture of me with her and my granddad in their garden at 29 Jellicoe Road in 1963. This photograph was taken about five years after the interview and shows me with my brother Carl and Nanny Clara. <laughs> 